How like the NHL to give Toronto the number one overall pick? Isn't that, isn't that right? They move up from three to one. Dallas from five to two. Get Detroit gets pushed back again, and at some point they got to get out of this top five. Uh, Winnipeg back, Arizona back. But there's your uh, there's your top five. Some uh, some teams filtering in and out. Some teams remaining the same, right in there. All right, so that's the lottery, and we'll see if it happened. Is this the year where it happens? Yep, it is. There he is. I wonder if I uh, gave him an extension if he wouldn't have retired. But what a career for Sidney Crosby. 2206 points total. Where does that put him? Ah, I don't have my phone close. You know, I want to get my phone. Hold on. Holy hell. Second all-time points, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yeah, he blew past Yager. He actually, like, blew past Yager. He looks like he'd be second in assists, too. And actually got close to Gretzky's goal record. Wow, that is actually impressive. So no longer can Gretzky say, or anyone say, uh, Gretzky, you could take away Gretzky's goals and he'd still have the most points in the NHL. No longer. Sidney Crosby, what a career he had. 2206 points, man. Ah. Uh, Goodbye to a legend. No, seriously, like legend at that point. That's probably the closest. Oh, we'll see how McDavid does in this, but. Oh, man. Now now we got to sim to the end to see McDavid, huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. That's, that's great. Good for him. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he maybe could have gotten away with playing like one more year. But I wasn't going to pay him what he was asking for. I was going to wait to, you know, to see if it maybe go down. We, we just couldn't afford that. And he retired. You know, he, maybe he would have retired anyway. So, anyway. Kucherov retiring. Shifley retiring. Monaghan. Kuznetsov. Saad. Raquel looks like, yeah, pretty much everyone was done. Besides, you could argue Monaghan could have maybe played another year. Look, still looked very serviceable. Sabanejad. Seth Jones. Oh, my goodness. We're at that stage. Seth Jones is retiring. Tomas Hurdle's retiring, man. Need a rider. <laughs> Look at these retirements. Arista Linen. Yeah, he could have played. So there's a feel like that who probably could have played a bit longer. All right. Damn. Look at those names. Brendan Lemieux. <laughs> Zach McEwen. My goodness. Pretty crazy retirements. Uh, John Gibson finally retires. Yeah, he was done. Great career for him. Hellebuck, Bennington, Murray, and Subban also retiring. But, yeah. John Gibson retires in Vegas. Sacrilege. All right. Oh, well, I went back there. So the legend is done. Sidney Crosby. <laughs> uh, Sean Monahan becomes a coach. Let's see if we actually lost any coaches. No one from Pittsburgh. No one from Wilkes-Barre Scranton. Good. Speaking of Wilkes-Barre Scranton, well, I guess we'll find out. I'll just tell you now. They won the Calder. Sorry, HL team won the Calder Cup. Congrats. Um, let's actually see if I need to do any interviews. We got some pins. Got a top six. Got that uh, medium elite. No other medium elites by the looks of it. There's that grinder that we want to target in the second round. Yeah, the only other medium elite's a goaltender. Maybe I'll pin him just for some extra trade value. I think we traded away all of our elite goalies, so we could pick another one up. <laughs> it's about that time. All right, let's see if there's an unknown or if some unknowns. Now, there is an elite there at 12, but we weren't going to get that anyway. We're pretty much good on playmakers. So there's an unknown here. Might as well. Liam Anderson, huh? Not Leas. That guy might be an elite goaltender. But let's... Because we do have a couple seconds. Now, one of them is not going to be great because it's our own second. But we'll see if there's maybe a low elite in here. That will be better than anything that we could target with our own pick. For your ETA. Okay, that's probably not going to be it then. Sniper for you. He's probably going to be a medium nine then. I'll finish the interview regardless, but yeah, it's looking like medium nine. All right, well-rounded. 
pretty sure that's what it is around that range. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. It is a low. Interesting. Well, pin him because it is a low. Although we have been fooled in the past where it said, remember that guy we drafted? Said high, it said high, and then he turned out to be like a medium six. That was awful. That was cool. I think forwards are more what we're after. We're pretty good for defensemen for the most part. So I'll interview this guy. We have one more after this. Maybe I go back and interview that other guy if I don't have anything better to do. But for right now, before your ETA, with he must be like right on the edge. Okay, maybe they're all for your ETAs. Power forward. Interesting. Huh, yeah. They might, that just might be the, uh, the grouping here is all for your ETA. Because that's kind of odd that both of them right here turned out to be four. So maybe that guy is a low elite in the first one. That guy's not going to be. This is three or ETA. Hold on. There's another low. Where's my low elite coming in? I guess he's further back. All right, back here. Is he four year? No, he's two year. Oh, injury prone though. I'll probably still maybe pick. Him. Yeah, don't really need the winger playmaker. Interesting. This guy's two year ETA and he's seventeen. That's that was weird. I should not show up to make any of this. I know that guy's injury prone and all, but I kind of don't want to pass up on that sort of an ETA. All right, they're already back there. I guess I will interview that other guy. He's the only one. That really makes sense to interview, so. I don't know, maybe he'll be a better defenseman than the other guy. Probably not, though. Two-year ETA is amazing. Hey, huh? Oh. I have to click on something. So, three-year. So, he's probably going to be a medium four, then. DFD. Might be worth. We'll see. Or he could be a low and he just could have like one overall difference and be... They, they might all be on the cusp, like that one overall difference. I forget where the cutoff is. It's like 61 or something. That's four year. And then it goes down to like 56. And then... Ah, I can't remember. Uh, medium. So yeah, going to be a four. Interesting. Now, I don't like that this guy's injury prone and sucks at passing. He's a good skater and all, but he's shoot pinch too. That really doesn't help us. I might even skip out on him because we're good for defensemen. Shoot pinch isn't good for our scheme. <laughs> Nikita Godolvin. I was like, wait a sec, what? Second chances? There's also this guy, but that four-year ETA is pretty shite. There's also the goaltender there who could actually be elite. We're gonna miss. The main thing is we want that grinder, which we should be able to get with our with our earliest pick. So we're gonna get the grinder. The question is, do we trade up for one of these? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, where? Oh. So what well, we got in the way of pins now? Is all this. We definitely are going to grab this guy. Maybe we do want a sniper. Well, we, we're going to get this sniper, obviously. Yeah, I don't like the four-year ETA. Honestly, it might go for Godolbin here because he has three-year ETA. He's behind the net, which would fit. And we do... I don't know. We were supposed to have a goal score on our first line. Someone's saying you need a goal score on the first line. Well, I don't know what the hell's wrong with... Uh, what's his name? The... Uh, uh, what I don't remember. I can't... Okay. Brain fart for the life of me. I can't remember his name. <laughs> it's going to bug the shit out of me. Anyway, uh, we're, we're done here. What the hell? Why can't I remember his name now? Young stud. He's like... like Everyone's hyping this dude up. He's like 15. Fuck! What the... What is your name? See, I forgot about him. But no. Badar, Jesus! Is it... Buh. Buh. 
You think the answer to my riddle is buh? I heard Rachel say it. Alright, anyway. <laughs> oh, don't mind me just quoting old ass YouTube videos. Yeah, uh, no, no, before we get into the draft. So we lost to the Cup Champs at least, but losing that Game 7 hurts even more now. Because it could have been us! Maybe. That's not how it works, but it should be. Congrats to you, fuckers. Uh, presidents went to Vancouver, and they faced the Oilers in the Cup Finals, and McJesus couldn't win a Cup. Rip. Blaine again with the Art Ross and the Hart. God, what a beast. McCarr, yeah, hands down winning that North. So, McCarr and Clark are the big boys. And I don't know who that is at the bottom there, but he's definitely not as good as the guy above him. Uh, Lady Bing to McKinnon. Uh, Hutchings got that Calder hype. McLeod with the Conn Smythe. Uh, Greer with the Vesna and the uh, and the William M. Jennings. He had a hell of a year. Uh, T. Vert Vertanen with the Masterton. Blues coach with the Jack Adams. Stooks look at the Selkie. Sweet. So, new guy winning that Selkie. Uh, Blaine with the Ted Lindsay again and the Maurice Richard three years in a row. Four out of the last five. One, two. What did he win? Four trophies again? No, he didn't get. He, well, yeah, not five. He didn't win the Selkie this time, but still took home four pieces of hardware. Silas Blaine is an absolute beast. I didn't show you us winning the Calder, but I told you you're just going to have to take me for my word. Wilkes Barre Scranton won the Calder. All right, let's do that hockey. All right, not moving up, obviously. The closest we can move up anyway is a 17. We don't have anything in the first, that's right. But we, oh, perfect. This is what, 34 and the guy's ranked at 36? No, that's the 33, even better. No expansion team. What? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're definitely gonna grab this guy. Oh, he's NHL ready, too. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if we can make a third line grinder line immediately. Even though he's NHL ready, I think it's still going to take us another year, maybe two. And I'm just, do I want to go for Godolbin, too? Maybe. I mean, we can't wait too long. Yeah. This guy will be solid goal scoring wise, but I mean, realistically, does he get first line? Probably not, unless he kicks ass and shoots a lot and scores a lot, which good luck. Really just don't know enough about that guy. So maybe we move up. I'm not too sure yet. I might move up and grab that. I mean, what else am I gonna grab? Unless I can get, well, I don't really want Pilstrom. So what else would I get with that with that second second? Yeah, it probably it probably is worth moving up unless I can't grab this, but I should be able to because I think I grabbed an additional three and four. So yeah, we'll be solid on that. In fact, we'll be lined up real nice for most of these. All right, well let's just see what goes in this top five. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they get a fran of course. Yeah, they got a franchise playmaker. Fucking pricks. Winger playmaker to Dallas. Detroit got a center playmaker at 83. So, hey, you still get a really good player. Are you guys ever going to turn the corner? Uh, one <laughs> winger playmaker to Winnipeg. And then they get a two-way guy. What else is in this top ten? That looks pretty strong. Okay, immediately drop off overall as well. Are any overall jump up or is that is that it? Oh, man. Okay, so no high overall top six is by the looks of it. Nope. All right, up we go. I know there's a lead in there, but I, I don't really care. To look at him. He was ranked at, ah, fuck it. He was ranked at 12. Oh, there's one. <laughs> and then Brain is there. But yeah, there's one guy NHL ready, top four. So pretty good pick up there right there by Calgary then. Oh wow, he's pretty he's pretty solid. Alright, anyway. We have our pick here. We're gonna grab that grinder. Amir Stokes. What a name. No, no weaknesses either, which means oh man, he's got A plus physical. Good defensive category. Likes behind the net, which actually, eh, it's not amazing, but it is what it is. I like him regardless. Yeah, 77 overall. Yeah, so he'll, he'll take a year of development anyway. Uh, at least the way I would do it. I can make him an exemption or maybe in the AHL. I can't remember where I grabbed them, but either way. So where's our next pick? 57. 
So if we want to get that 40-something, we'd have to move up. The next one we have is 50 what? We're actually close to, yeah, 53, not close enough. So if I want to move up and grab Godolbin, it's probably worth it. 40, he's ranked at 45, so... Is it 30 or 41? 44, that's too, yeah, it's too late. I might have to go for the 41 here. Yeah. Alrighty. So throw 57 in there. They don't want it, but oh wow, that's a big old value discrepancy. Kind of more than I was thinking it would be. But they want to give it up, so it shouldn't cost too much more. Low six, Saint Denis. Actually, that's a grinder. Yeah, he's grown well too. Luongo, 80, 24. He's got a tiny bit of value. Kind of want to hold on to some of those guys for future sixes. Can't give away you. Oh, goodness gracious, Perry Lindholm. Well, there's maybe your uh, goal scorer for the top line. <laughs> Please? Holy shit. I think someone mentioned him growing pretty well in the uh, in the comments on one video as well. 64-20. This guy can go. Yeah. Derek Reed. That's honestly more value than I need, so I can get back another pick. Let's grab a pick from next year or something. Three from next year. That should work. In fact, I might be able to get a little something extra, too. Three and a four from next year. Let's go. Not quite. Quite far off. All right. Remove that. Let's just get that. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Trade made. Let's grab that sniper. See what he develops into. Or we can just go for the goalie and hope he's an elite. And get a lot more value. Oh, he's 19. Let's snag this guy. Ah! He might be an elite still, but he's also 19 value. Maybe a bit lower. Yeah, I think it'd be all right. Either way. Oh, fuck. I let Toronto get the elite shit. <laughs> no, we, we got to keep him at the bottom. All right, 85. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to make sure I don't miss out on the things that I want. Yeah, I'll be able to get both these guys. I'll do probably boom, boom. Got to get that. Yeah, I'll just kind of draft off the board in place where I am. Let's make sure my other one will be good, though. Could have checked that, but you know. All right, Radoslav Bartizak. 50 overall, medium elite, 18. Plenty of time to develop. We'll see how it grows. 88, oh yeah, per oh yeah. Wow. I actually could have waited. Where's my pick after that? I guess I can go blind here. 97, yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go over with the blind. Maybe I can get lucky. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Where the hell is this guy from? Bartizak. I wish you could check after you fucking draft them. Wait, how do I check? Oh, these stats won't really matter. Well, it'll tell me extra Liga. Okay. So the other guy was from uh, Finnish League. Linköping. Or maybe a Swedish League. I can't remember. Linköping? Swedish? Yes, SHL. Fuck me. Sorry. Um, it's probably the best bet. There's no other European besides that. Yeah, let's let's go with a blind pick here. No, all right. It, I mean, there wasn't much hope for it anyway. Just a fool's hope. Okay, probably grab the other uh, the goaltender now. The last melon. Oh, 133. Never mind. We can get him with our next pick, which is 119. All right, another blind pick. Beagle! 
Or I go with lows here. Are they... What are the lows? Nah, the lows aren't great here. I mean, there's... You won't be resigned to being shit. But four years, pretty... Yeah, it's pretty much what they are, too. There's a top four here that's at least guaranteed value. <laughs> Gilly's the enforcer, let's go. <laughs> Six five, big boy. Yeah, I could grab that guy and it's it's set value. But we're gonna about to get some more value. Come on, come on, baby. Ah! Oh, he's a enforcer though! <laughs> Fucking right! Let's go! Top 9 enforcer. 60 overall. Which actually ain't bad for being 18. He's probably about to turn 19. Let's go. Center enforcer! Alright, that's... I, you don't see that too often. Alright, up to the 119 we go. Absolutely not. Well, actually, actually... But I was already maxed out on picks, right? Yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure I was already maxed out on picks, so we can't actually do that. Unless one of those from an additional year, but I don't care enough. I really don't. All right, let's snag Jaden Callahan now. Oh, is he 20? Holy shit, yeah, 20. Whatever, elite, 20. 61, trade bait. Up to the 150 now. Where was this last guy? I think I can get him with my last pick, whatever that may be. Yeah. So, a couple blinds here. A couple more goalies to get my hands on if I want. I mean, realistically, what else would I... What else would I be able to come up on? Oh, how did I miss you? Well, my last two picks. No, seriously, how did I miss you? Shoot, pinch percent great, but it's still a low lead I'm absolutely going to take. YOLO. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, no, said EA. All right, well, we'll grab the last two elites right here. So, OFD, Craig, Lannon. And my last pick here, we'll grab that other little elite. Jace Vandevelli. We got a lot of snipers in this one. 60 overall. Wow. Oh, he's 19. Still, not bad. All right. So, good draft all in all, I'd say. Yes, sir. Yeah, we did nine. Okay, I liked I liked that whole draft. Stokes, I'm really excited about. Obviously, Beagle's pretty awesome for the memes. And, you know, got low elites, high medium elites. Fun for the whole family in this draft. Not too bad, considering we didn't have a first. But that's because we're all pretty good here. Uh, AHL goalie coach, probably not consequential whatsoever. Yeah, he's like a D or something. Holy shit, that's consequential. We want them back. All the scouts. All of our beautiful A- minus and A scouts. Holy shit. Shut up. <laughs> Last I'm already awake. Alrighty. I wonder if you guys could even hear that alarm. I'm just screaming it into the void. I mean, you should have been able to hear that. It was loud. Cut through my headphones. Wow, that's a lot of scouts coming off contract. There we go. Alright. Into the, uh... Resign phase we go. No more Crosby, man. QQ. But we still have Hutchings, who could probably play middle, as I recall. He has good face offs. 77. Yeah, he, he could play middle if we want him to. And then we're going to need a sniper, which we already have in uh, Lindholm. I'm going to sign Lindholm, absolutely. And we have a power forward in. What, did he not jump? Where are you? Oh, who the fuck is this? Oh, that's a grinder. Oh! 
Wait. Is that a different Elite Grinder? What? <gasps> Was that a low Elite that we traded for and it became a medium Elite? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that just happened. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure they're just saying, I was, I was thinking of Bodie, by the way, but at this point, fuck. Well, you know, honestly, I can, I can stunt this guy. I'd rather maybe go with a third line scoring line until we can trade some of these guys or figure out if we're going to use any of them. Oh, boy. So what I'm going to do this year, I think, is put staples onto that top line. And then Bedard onto the second. Because we, remember, Tukanen was scoring goals. Now, that will fuck, that'll hurt chemistry a bit, but I don't care. I would, would rather have a goal scorer on that top line. At least we could try it. Um, hey, Pete jumped up a bit more to an 87. Good. Irving is still shite. Looks like Zinger is capping out too. Awesome. Well, we haven't seen the jumps yet, but I'm still frustrated as all hell. I'm trying to find a goddamn defensive defenseman. Uh, I actually want Vero back because he's probably going to... Oh, now Joseph's back to an 81, but he doesn't want a contract. And at this point, he's going to be expensive as hell. Fuck you. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah, let's get a two-year by this contract. You're my new top six, Vero. Congrats. You're not the most amazing, but you'll you'll be serviceable, I think. Siegenthaler, I still want him as my depth. He doesn't want to come back, though. You know those lunk fists. Why are you guys being so rude? Alright, I'm going to get DRNA back. Still have high, high hopes for a living that he'll become a, a 7. I'm not going to let anyone go because we're still severely short on AHL depth. So I'm just going to sign everyone regardless. Sure, your last two-year contract, probably. It's Yoland. All right, so you can tell her. Please don't. That's expensive for depth. But I'll try it. All right, Lunkfist. Can you calm down? I'll be, I'll be burying him, so that won't matter too much. All right. Um, so we're probably going to go have Varlamov and Rivera in the NHL. Depenta, I'm going to bury. I'm going to fucking bury your contract. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to trade this guy at all. Yeah. So I'm going to bury him. Use Brookbank. I can do two years for him. Yep. Uh, fuck you, Depenta. All right, let's advance a day here. See what we're left with. We're getting closer to that cap. All right, a lot of scouts back. Look like we got everyone. By the looks of it. Uh, no, Seekenthal rejected. Shite. I might have to overpay for some depth. Did someone else reject? I think someone else might have just rejected. I was clicking too fast. All right, anyway. We got some new guys assigned. Saint Denis as well. Some of these guys may be exemptions. Oh, Vero rejected. All right, two by one. Come on now, that's a good deal. What the hell? Why do you want so much? I can't sign this guy. That's so much. I mean, I can. But at this point, I don't fucking need to. We got better grinders coming up. I'd rather keep Siegenthaler as my defensive depth, honestly, than, than sign Greek for that amount. That's, that's ridiculous. Keep you. Luongo, this is an AHL guy, but I'll, I'll keep him around because, as the aforementioned... 
This is a yeah, it's a couple guys that never panned out, but they're good for AHL, so I keep them around. Another guy good for AHL. Good thing we didn't need any of those player types, huh? All right, let's advance a day. See what we got. More scouts. I have a lot of them, so. All right. All right. Yep. 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 All right. I think we got everyone now. Now we're just waiting on Grieg. Mr. Holdout. Mr. I'm a grinder on the fourth line and I want almost four million. What a joke. So we have 6.7 million. Can I afford to pay, the, pay his ass that much? Do I want to pay his ass that much? All these are questions. Well, we got to get... Oh, yeah. We got to sign Per Lindholm. So sign you. Um, okay, what are we looking at? Eamon in we don't need anymore. We could <laughs> ship this guy out immediately <laughs> on that terrible contract. Hopefully someone wants him. Yeah, kind of overestimated what he would turn out to be. He probably has stat minuses right now. Change in scenery would help him. But yeah, that's actually turning out to be a bad contract. Uh, I mean, we've got LaPierre, right? So fuck Greek. It's the principle. I don't want to pay him that money. Here, like, I'm hoping Bodie jumps be ready for that third line because I want to go Lindholm, Bodie, and Hutchings third line, at least for this year. And then we figure out what's Lindholm going to become. Is he going to be a more pure goal scorer than Bedard? But I don't want to give up on Bedard, quite obviously. But when you have Lindholm like this, man, I don't, I'm not giving up on, I mean, not squandering this. So at least for the next couple of years, I, I see us maybe making that fourth line grinder line now. So Volkov, we still got. We're going to have LaPierre. So LaPierre, Volkov, part of that fourth line. We still have Kamano for grinder depth. Where's the other grinder? I'm missing him. I'm overlooking him in some way. Not Luong. Is it Luongo? No. All right. Well, you must be further down along than I thought. I guess we could use Greek. Who the hell was on our other side? Did someone retire and I'm just not aware of it? I don't think so. I'm tripping. Who the hell do we have on our fourth line? We had Grieg, Volkov, and someone on the fourth line. And now I don't see. Did they retire? And I'm apparently too dumb. Was it LaPierre? I don't think so. Wait, maybe it was. Oh, it was. <laughs> oh, it was LaPierre. He changed. He changed potential. So that's why I was all confused. Anyway, we changed to a medium elite. So hype to that. I guess I will need Greg back or get someone better. Yeah, unfortunately, we do not have someone coming up who's ready to fill that role. Speaking of which, where is Asplund, huh? Yeah, he'll still take a bit. 69 at 19 now. Stevens is looking good as a grinder, but he'll take a bit of time. Right winger or center. Yeah, we're still a little bit of ways off. So, I really don't want to sign Greek to this amount, but I, I don't need anything else. We got two goalies. Varlamov and Rivera will be just fine, especially if they jump, which Varlamov and Rivera, they both should, theoretically. Hopefully, Varlamov jumps a lot. Rivera looks like he could be a very, very solid backup. We'll see what kind of contract we can get him on. We're good on forwards. We actually have too many, and we're going to be good on defensemen. Unless we want to make a trade. So, and if we do want to make a trade, we're going to need some cap wiggle room. Which we simply don't have. Well, we're, we are, you know what? No, we'll be able to sign him. I don't like the deal, like, whatsoever, but 
I don't want to mess with him in normal free agency. So let's overpay a fourth line grinder, 315. Simply because we're going to move out Eamon and that frees up another four. So we're essentially, we're going to gain a mil regardless. We'll have over seven if we do want to make a trade. It'll include another roster player. I'm thinking about the defense. We'll see what happens with that. I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping Zinger gets like a, a two overall jump. Just please give that to me, man. Give me something. Give me a two overall jump. We'll see. Thing about Pete though is he kind of needs to play in that top unit. And I kind of don't want to split him and Van Allen up, so keep Ho and our OFD on that second one. Probably. That's why I'm opening Zinger jumps. Uh, he's so he's super, super well built. He just needs to get up there. Irving's looking like the guy. He just isn't working, and he just doesn't fit well chemistry. So he's the guy probably to move out. Well, depend. We'll see. We'll see what Zinger does. Yeah, Irving not earning that paycheck. A couple bad contracts here when we tried to, uh, you know, get team friendly deals. Paralyn Holm, Greg rejected. because I'm not in the, let's try 3.5 for a year. Huh? Oh, I pressed Y instead of X to advance today. Why did I do that? Oh my God, dude. Are you kidding me? Ha! <laughs> You can go fuck yourself, Greg. I'll, I'll get you in normal free agency. Eight. Fuck the morale. You are being a little bitch. All right. We'll have to get a new uh, goalie coach or the old one back. Yeah, I'm aware. Esteban Del Zotto. Anyone with A-plus teaching will be fine. Let's see how much Greg wants here. He's going to discover real quick the open market is not his friend. Oh my god, he actually wants more. What the hell is going on? Apparently it is his friend. Jeez, I really didn't think that would happen. Well, we could look for a right winger grinder, maybe. I guess he'd realize he's a commodity that there's all not a whole lot of. <laughs> oh, there's one. Altenin. No, he's nope, see fuck! Okay, Greek, you might get your money. But we're gonna have to make some trades first. I mean, we'll have plenty of cash regardless. I was being a little stingy, but fuck me, man. That was a stupid contract that he was after. I guess I should have paid him. <laughs> he was like, I'm giving you a team friendly deal. I was like, no, you're not, son. Okay, Staples, or you want a ridiculous amount? Kinda. Can't pay you that. Not yet. Hutchings. Probably just signed to that because we're going to be trading him. I'll, I'll give a team a really good player. Well, yeah, and we might. Well, maybe I go shorter term. Simply so because I don't, I don't foresee Hutchings being a big, big part of this team. I think we're going to transition to third line grinder line eventually. The question is for uh, how long do I want Hutchings? Maybe two or three year extension. He wants four. If I give him three, two year, we'll, he will 100% be an RFA again. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. I'll still retain his uh, his his rights, and that that'll be a three nine one extension. So we'll really be saving money on that. So there you go, three nine two five. Gonna hold off on staples probably. At least to hope that maybe he wants a bit less. He's he's tendered, so we'll we'll have all the all the power in this. But he wants way way too much right now. Like that's that's a lot. That's a lot. Yes, he had a really really good year, but I'm I'm gonna. I don't know, I'm nervous about giving him a huge, huge deal after one good year. Though, to be fair, that's not that horrible of a contract at this stage. So that's 9-3. It's not great either. 
but again, it was one year, and I'm going to be probably trying them on the top line this year. He had 49 goals. How many shots did he take? 316. Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially considering Tukinen was also taking a bunch of shots. Man, do, do I do I bite the bullet and go for it? We can pro we'll probably ship out Irving or someone. 19 million only for next year. It is we're getting up there. But I do I do I do seriously think Staples is going to be a big part of our of our team. Do I give him a full eight? Four, five. There's a, a f some fives, a six. There's a six line them up with Pete, but it's not how much better of a deal is a six. A five is five might not be bad. It would be under eight for a five year extension. You know what? Let's do seven. Yeah, that's like a two mil differential between three extra years, which is, yeah. So let's do that. 7.925 for five years. Let's do that for Staples. I like that a lot more. Lines them up with someone, a couple other people. Yeah, let's do that. And goaltenders were good on. I think that'll. That's all the extensions. All right. I like that idea. So we'll do that. We're probably not going to acquire anything in free agency, but let's see what's in free agency. Uh, Wierenski, Aho, McKinnon. Wow, Nate McKinnon. Uh, Raymond wants a one-year contract, huh? Taylor Hall treatment. Raymond, Jarkov, Pat Pasta. Brat Wright, even. Oh, so he's off of uh, Toronto now, huh? Yeah. Jake Bean. There's Panayi. Where were you fucking last year? <laughs> and now we're not really in the market for a goaltender. Terrific. All right, cool. Love it, EA. Love it. All right. So there's your free agency class. We got extensions sort of kind of in place. And I think we're going to make some uh, trades here. Maybe. Uh, I, I don't quite know what I want. I know we may have to ship out some money. I have to see after the jumps. I, I really can't judge what what we what we got right now. I have to I have to wait till jumps. We really do. Uh, except for Eminen. Yeah, we can pretty much trade Eminen whenever. But that's just a salary dump. So yeah, that that's pretty inconsequential. I'm not really targeting anything with him. I'm just trying to dump his salary. All right, guys. So that will pretty much take care of it. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.